Welcome to OpenOffice Video. I am Martin, and I'm going to show you how to filter uh, data using Calc. In a previous video, part one of this two-parter, uh, I showed you how to use the data sort function. There's another way to uh, search through large amounts of data, which is filtering. We have the same um, data uh, spreadsheet uh, here again. Uh, and first we have to activate the filter. We go to data and then filter and you have standard filter and advanced filter. But for now we'll just use the auto filter, which is usually all you need. Now you see, I, um, because I selected the whole table, uh, it's filtering all of them. And how can you see this? There are little boxes with a, a down arrow in every uh, in every column in the first uh, first row. So it suggests it's, it automatically assumes that this is a header row, which in this case is correct. Now what we can do is we can for instance, draw, click this drop down, and you can, it can select. You can select the values that you want. All the values are. It searches the column, and all the values are in the, that are in there once will be displayed. Now, since this is the um, uh, month column, naturally each month only is in, in there only once. So you see all of the values here. But if we look at here at the still sales um, drop down box you see that all the values are here but there are fewer values since there are doubles the 10 is in the two months with sales of 10 20 is also in there twice uh, three times actually so you can I can if I want to see all the month with which had a, a sales uh, amount of 10 I just select this and you see here it selects January and September. You can actually see it hasn't actually changed the data because the row numbers here, one, two, skip onto 10 and then skip to 13. So you, you can see that there's actually something there. And also the um, uh, auto filter option, it actually gives the blue arrow here to indicate something is happening. And if we want to go back to normal, because we have seen, we have the, the January and September other ones. Then we click to all. And, well, if we want to see the profit, then the month with the number of profit two, and I can also say now, I want to add in this, we have selected the month with the profit two, and I say, okay, I want the combination of the month with profit two and sales 20. This is, of course, uh, um, I'm going to set them back to all. With a small data set like this, this is a bit silly. But if you have a large data set, for example, you have an, an address file where you want to select everybody within um, a certain city and then uh, all the all the boys in a certain city with, well, etc., etc. This can be very useful. All right. Um, now to neatly close this up, let's just um, disable the filter function again. First we select the whole area again, we go to data, we go to filter and we, you see, can see there's a, a, a mark in front of auto filter to indicate that it's activated and we click on it to deactivate it again. Alright, this was part 2 of sorting and filtering. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, and you can also subscribe to OpenOffice Video by using our RSS, um, by uh, following us via email updates or Twitter. Uh, and you can also subscribe to the, uh, the YouTube channel if you watch this via YouTube. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye!